Hello, everyone. Welcome to Joy Says Healing 22. I'm here to give you your spiritual messages and your guidance for today. I've been a little MIA for the last couple of weeks. I've been dealing with last minute taxis and stuff. As you, if those who watch my channel know that I am accounting by day. That is my job. This is not my job. This is my calling and my gift that I like to help guide others. Thank you for visiting my channel again. My name is Kalila Joy. Please like, share, subscribe for all the newcomers. My name again, my name is Kalila Joy. All right, let's get into the messages. Uh, you know what? I got to light this candle. Sorry, y'all. Always some extra. So what's up? What's been going on, Soul Tribe? I know. We in retrograde. Oh, shit coming up. Shit that we haven't been paying attention to. Need to refocus on and heal. That's our beautiful retrograde. Happy birthday to all my Tauruses. God bless you. I hope you enjoy and having a beautiful birthday. I have a cousin and a very be a best friend. Close friend at birthday. So, um... August. I mean, <laughs> there we go with that retrograde shit. Um, <clears throat> in May, it says, whatever validation, and by the way, I pulled these from my personal uh, ancestors, Oracle Dead, that I created. No, they are not for sale. This is just something that is personally for me and for my soul tribe. I do not want to put them on the market. Whatever validation or situation you thought you needed from others has always been within you. What God has for you is for you. If you're conflicted, most likely it isn't for you. So, if you're conflicted or worried about something or someone, God don't operate the divine, the most high. Do not operate in confusion. And spirit. The ancestors is also saying that you do not need any validation. Whatever validation or situation you thought you needed from others has always been within you. So some people tend to, you know, look to others for some type of validation or approval or try to impress others. And when you do that, you make people your God. And I keep telling people that all the time. Stop making people your God. Trying to impress people, not following your heart, and trying to impress people or prove something. You're you you basically made these people your God. And you know, you allow your ego to sometimes that be the ego, and that really ends up blocking your destination. Wow. So I think um the spiritual message is today, and I probably title it, Stop Making People Your God. Whatever you thought you needed and was looking from some type of validation from others, could be a lover, family member, or whatever, you already had it within you, okay? I'm going to take an angel message, and it also says, you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with the dreams and desires, and don't compromise. That's right. Stop making people your God. Well, you stop waiting for validation from people. Stop looking at validation from tarot reading or anything that you might be doing that's blocking you from moving towards your destiny, towards your star. Because tarot reading is just basically validating what you already know and what's in you. Some people need help and guidance in getting through that. Oh, look at the squirrel. That squirrel fat. Anywho, so... And if you are conflicted about something or someone, know that God does not operate in confusion. And um, if it was for you, you would have it. If it was with you, if it was for you, you would have it. If it was with you, you won't have to go through so much trouble to fight to get it. And that could be a people, person, place, a thing. When, door, when one door closes, divine open another one. When one breaks your heart, and when you learn the lesson and heal from it, love will come into it. But you got to quit looking for validation from other people and worried about other people's opinion. Whew. 
I didn't get it. And you know, but you know, the world goes around, 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 and people rule the world. No, people don't rule this world. It's only one guy, the Most High. He rules this world. And your ancestors and spirit guys are here to guide and get you through it. But you keep making these earthly people. And not your assets, your spirits, guy, which is in your heart. Make the decisions for you. You want to find out you're stuck or you want to end up with a lot of regrets, okay? Door to value. Good job, Soul Tribe. A lot of you know your value. You see your value. Door to spirit. Spirit is opening the door and showing you that. 31, 32. Damn. Community. Um, could be dealing with some friends or family or... Someone in the community, but it is upright. We're going to see what that's all about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this could be Spirit trying to tell you to, like you said, quit looking for validation from these people, friends, or family. You need to follow your heart. If not, you will find your ass stuck and regretful and resentful. As soon as these people finish using you or controlling you or your thoughts and your feelings that you've been trying to oppress or whatever, throw the ass out in the cold in the dust. Mm -hmm. Broken heart. Somebody's dealing with a broken heart. Mm -hmm. They are conflicted. Somebody's conflicted about a broken heart. Oh, wow. I see love here. Then we got the world. New cycle um, beginning. But look at the bottom of the deck, Cornelia. Some type of contract has ended or need to end it. There's no balance. Damn, there's contract again. So this is some type of ending to some type of karmic cycle. Contract, the door to spirit is open here. Some of you um, have seen your value and you stop trying to prove yourself to others. You stop trying to make people these. You stop making these people your God. Some of you are still healing from a broken heart. Um, Spirit wants you to know that cycle has ended. You will not go back through this again. The door to Spirit has opened. You are on a new path, on a new cycle, and you shall heal. All your desires, reach for the stars. You know your value now. Reach for the stars. Quit trying to look for validation for these people because if... I believe spirit is warning if you keep trying to seek validation from people and not from God, not from the most high, the, 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 the divine, you're going to end up with a broken heart and you're going to be stuck in a cycle with these, with these dummies or honeys or whatever. Period. That's all. I mean, that's the honest God truth and it don't get no better than that. Let's go to uh, the tarot. I mean... I, I just don't, well, I do understand it, but when you get to a certain sex, age, and stage in life, and you realize who you've been trying to oppress and what you've been trying to seek validation from, the people don't even have it. You had it all along in you. And how are you leading and how are you calling yourself, you know, the, the man or the woman of the hour and... A minute, you too busy worried about what these people think or what they're going to do. Somebody is about to get victory because they know they value and they see they value. And they're shooting for the stars besides this broken heart. All right? That's you. What's this door to spirit about? Okay. The strength card. It took a lot of strength, a lot of lessons for you to learn. You know, you kind of, you probably feeling a little weak right now because some type of truth that came out. Communication in the, the world. Communication. Someone is probably going to communicate to you about that broke your heart and how they want to end this cycle and how they want to end listening to others and people. But, I mean, the damage has been done. Spirit um, saying that you are, you got the strength to deal with this person. But this personal situation is weak. Extremely weak. Empress. Bam. Um, cycle ending right after this broken heart we got the world and the empress card so some type of communication I, I believe that this is going to help heal your heart help bring some type of closure these people in this community or whatever 
who's been um who you've been trying to um who you've been in conflict conflict with or the person you're dealing with has been conflict with and basically made these people their god all that's coming to the end somebody was betrayed but this person somebody was betrayed and that person is spying on you Expect some type of communication from someone or something that had broke your heart. That probably was um, seeking validation from others opposed to following their heart. As and by them not following their heart, they end up breaking your heart. And expect, uh, expect some type of communication. The outcome is the world in the upright and the empress. It looks like you're closing this karmic cycle out. Or you have already, because you got the world twice here. You already closed the cycle, the cycle out with these people. You have nothing to prove to these bitches and hoes and motherfuckers. And if the person you was in love with, because we got a broken heart. Or a work situation that you was very passionate about. Didn't have faith. Listened to others. Didn't um, follow their own heart, their own tuition. Allow their ego to get in the way. Um, it looks like they've been portrayed. And now they want to spy on you. But with the world card and the empress here, it looked like you put an end into this cycle. And I don't think you want to go back. Not 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 the way not not the way it was. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. It took a lot of strength for you to put an ending to this. You know what I'm saying? You had to put these people behind. Yep. False person. Yeah, the person or people you've been dealing with is false as fuck. They got probably got some type of mental illness. <laughs> false, fake as hell. They probably got some type of mental illness. Oh, my Lord. If this not you, this is probably somebody you are dealing with that's fake as hell. Got some type of men mental illness. Been going around talking shit. Lying. Breaking, um, I guess that their goal was to break your heart or to break you down or whatever by listening to others. Yeah, you've got house fell in the crossroads. This person could be homeless, could be in between homes, and they want to come stay with you and, and communicate with you and offer you some type of love. I don't know. That's on you. Y'all know y'all situation. This is just a general reading. And this don't necessarily have to be pertaining to love. But somebody was remembered. Someone has been betrayed, and now they are spying. And it, oh, <laughs> somebody probably been lying, lying on you about what's going on in your heart, um, house, or what's been going on in your life. Benita, what are you doing? And it, it broke your heart, but it looked like with the pathway, this is this did nothing but open up a new pathway. You cut, you ain't got shit to prove to these motherfuckers. Whatever a lie, a bitch, or a hoe, or a motherfuckers out there putting out on you, just know you are not obligated to clear it up, and nor should you be explaining yourself to the idiots that believe that bullshit. So someone been communicating and want to talk to you about a house situation or a home situation that resulted into some type of broken heart. You could be dealing with somebody with a mental illness that's probably having some type of bad health. Or they want to come in and tell you about this. This fake ass person. It took you a lot of strength. I believe not to go and beat this person ass. Or to be the bigger person. And keep it fucking moving. Yes. But this person is going to end up in some type of bad health. And it looks like um, Soul Tribe. You are on a whole new path. With the world card. The pathway. You are on your right path. You are the empress or emperor. And this cycle, you are about to go into a whole new cycle. Look at that. Great fortune at the bottom. Please. All this validation that you were seeking from all these people and false person and fake motherfuckers, it was always within you. If you were conflicted about these people, it's most likely isn't for you. And I think that some of you had just got this type of communication and realized that these people are not, was never for you. These people probably was trying to use you for what for your energy and for what you can give them. You most likely almost made these people or did make these people your God, but they are not your God. The minute you worry about it, do shit for what you worried about 
to please other, you made those people your God. But it looks like that someone's going to communicate with you about um, a home situation or someone lied and some type of communication regarding a home situation. They come, come talk to you about it. It looks like that you in the cycle. You don't even care no more. You're on your right path. This shit, as far as you're concerned, is dead. Okay? It's dead. I know you just keep talking about this shit. You know what you know what you did and you know what you didn't do and you know what you got and don't got. And what you got is great fortune. You on a new path and you ain't got time to get energy to this shit no more. Okay? Negativity. Absorbing negativity. And psychic attacks. Energy vampire. Protection. Yeah, this person probably been having some fucking nightmares. This uh, karmic friend, family member, and or lover who been going around being fake as hell, thinking they get some type of victory. It took everything in you not to go check this person or beat their ass. Work on the ego. Yes, yeah, somebody need to work on their ego. For real. What else? What, well, any more spiritual tea? Root chakra, imbalance, clumsiness, sleep issues, reproductive issues, metabolism. Yes, if you've been having some type of health problems, it's coming to, um, look, changes, changing, big changes are coming. Yes, I love it. I love it. Yes, maybe you, some of you need to make some changes with your health habits. You know, maybe you've not been getting enough sleep. Maybe you've not been um, eating properly, whatever, this and that and the other. But Spirit wants you to know there are some changes coming to a home situation. Somebody's going to communicate it to you. It's probably somebody who broke your heart or is heartbroken because you ended some type of cycle yeah and you um empress or emperor you want a new path so you need to get back in balance okay use uh some crystals it says red jasper tourmaline and black obsidian okay um some of you need to get your root chakra back in balance if you don't know that's the one right over your belly button or beneath your belly button um, how you know that your root chakra is off balance if you have some type of clumsiness, sleep issues, poor circulations, reproductive issues, and issues with your metabolism. So if you've been feeling tired and out of whack, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, some type of vampire or negative text that somebody tried to send your way has been returned to sender three times three. I return all that negative energy away from me. Say it so, tribe. Three times three, we return all that negative energy back away from me, okay? Lesson learned. Lessons of the hand has been learned. You have already learned your lesson, Soul Tribe. You are not about to let these people or this situation block your abundance. Uh, you have, a, I feel like you have healed whatever this broken heart and in this home and this um, communication, you have healed. You know your value. Uh, this false person has a lot of ego and mental issues, I believe. Period. Okay? Um, whatever validation or situation you thought you needed from others has always been within you. Can we get a, a advice card? Let me get a advice card from Ayanna Benzant. Because this is all like, you know, you did with dealing with some fake motherfuckers. Or a, a person you were dealing with was dealing with some fake ass people. It doesn't matter. I don't really see too many cups out here. So I just see swords, wands. It could have been a, um, if this is about a relationship, probably was sexually based. Uh, maybe this person want to change and come in and offer you. Um, they want to change their ways and go on a different path and offer some type of commitment to you. I don't know. You know your situation. They are spying and they do know that they portrayed you. Okay, but you see this person as a fake person. Okay. All right. I, I, I think. Are you willing to tell someone the truth today? When you care about yourself and others, you must respect them enough to tell the truth. What? Who needs to hear some truth from you today? So somebody... With this 555 five, five and this home and this eight of wands and broken hearts, someone know that they've been lying on you or to you 
and someone knows they all need to owe you an apology and you might get some type of communication between the now and the next 40 hours so someone wants to apologize they probably going to say that they changed I can't, you have to be the judge on that. It looks like the outcome is that you're going to go on a new path um, in this cycle and, and step into your empress energy. I don't know if it's with this with these individuals or with someone new. Apply it how it goes. But someone needs to hear the truth from you or someone is coming in and speak the truth. And they realize if they really cared about you, or if you care about yourself and others, you must respect them enough and tell the motherfucking truth. If this person who's been going around lying about your home and your lifestyle and your situation, this and that and the other, this fake ass per false person that was trying to get some type of victory, that's now dealing with some nightmares, karma, negative, psychic attacks. But when you invite the devil in, when you do shit like that, you invite the devil in. Don't get mad at the devil. You invited the motherfucker in by going around talking shit. Somebody was talking about a divine person lying on them. Created all this goddamn conflict. Either you want to let them out of the cold or you're going to stop dealing with it and you put an end to this cycle. Now someone wants to come in and communicate and tell the truth and, and uh, make some changes in their life and, and, and get on this new journey with you. That's on you if you want to take these people back. In your life. This could be love and or friends or family. But they are watching you. They are watching you. The sun. The eight of cups. In reverse. Yeah. Somebody might still be attached to the devil. With all these reverse cards. But I don't know. So. Uh, you, Someone need to tell the truth. Let's see if we can get any more messages from spirit. Thank you Holy Spirit. Thank you ancestors. Thank you spirit God. Okay. Yeah, all this is about communication. All these wands and um you got some major arcana cards out here. Someone might um someone need, needs been working on their ego or someone still need to work on their ego. And that's why they haven't came in and apologized and told you this is truth yet. Their ego is blocking them from their blessings. Oh well, but if this is you and you need to speak your truth to others, communicate clearly, direct. You don't have to be mean. You don't have to be disrespectful. However, you do need to communicate clearly and direct. If not, expect some type of clear and direct and communication that's coming in to you. And with the broken heart, the eight of wands, changes in the house and the upright, I'm about 99% that this person is going to be telling the truth. They might don't tell you everything, but they're going to speak the truth or start telling the truth. Because the community out here, well, whoever they were trying to please or impress, they ain't do nothing but absorb these negative energies. And... They basically reaping what the fuck they sow. The same people they was trying to impress, the same people that they was trying to defame your character or choose over you, it's the same people that suck the fucking life out of them. It's the same people that but end up betraying them. This person or these people, this situation want to come back to you and they owe you an apology and they see now and post a following a heart and doing the right motherfucker thing. They try to please these people, bitches, hoes, and motherfuckers. And fucked up, uh, fucked up with the very one that actually loved them. Or actually wanted them for them. There's a difference between wanting somebody and needing somebody. You should not want to be in a relationship with anyone that needs you. You should be... That person should first want to be with you. So... Yeah, some type of communication gonna come in and they're gonna try to they're gonna be very, very clear about it. The outcome looks like that you gonna stay on your pathway. You are on your right path and the world card and they see you as the empress and you're gonna have some type of great fortune. Maybe this person really has changed. I don't know. Tarot cannot predict your life. You already subconsciously know. 
Okay, but action speaks louder than words. So this is on you. This is your decision. And this is uh, regarding to love and or work. If this is you and you broke somebody's heart, you need to respect them enough and yourself enough and communicate clearly about exactly what the fuck is going on and own your bullshit and, and move forward in peace. All right? God bless you. Again, my name is Kalila Joy. My name of my channel is Joy Says Healing 22. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, thumb down, and let me know um, in the comments of, you know, if this resonated or not. God bless you all. Have a good day.